Come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> you look awesome. All right, welcome back to another video. Um, obviously, last one, I finally released the new shop. I'm in the old shop at the moment because I've got some stuff that I want to show you. But I did this little video on Instagram the other day with Lucky. How good does she look as a little domestique dog? Yeah, yeah, need a bottle. Thank you, thank you. But it is getting to the point of the season where all of our new kit and new sponsors and everything um, give us all of our sponsorship stuff. And the first package to show up is Laser. So um, this year again we're going to be running the white laser Vento helmets with the new Connect Core which is like the um, Shimano or lasers version of the MIPS inside here. So a massive shout out to Shimano NZ for providing um, these helmets again. The one thing that we did last year is like we have a lot of custom kit, we've got custom bikes and everything but we never customised our helmets. I thought it could be quite cool to try and work out a way to customise these Ventos. Obviously the main one would be to just like put in red like Copeland's logo there and there on the side but I was thinking maybe the little baker's hat on the front there or maybe the little baker's hat here. Let me know in the comments below um, but yeah thanks again to Laser and Shimano for providing the helmets for the team. Alright, a few people have been asking what my plans are for the future, um, whether I'm going to be racing again. Obviously I have a hell of a lot going on um, with the new shop and stuff, but I've decided that even though that's taking out most of my time, I still want to ride Southland. It's still the biggest race of the year for me. That's the reason I even do all the stuff with the cycling team and with Copelands. So the answer is yes, I am going to be lining up for the 2023 Tour of Southland, which is very exciting. This is my third lineup. Um, I did 2020 obviously the 2022 last year and then I hopefully finish another 2023. So yeah, a little bit of an update on the team. Obviously we go sticking with Windspace this year. Um, if you haven't um, followed us on Instagram or seen any of the updated kit, we have a few leaked photos from um, Keegan. He's been racing in Belgium and he's in Spain at the moment, so I'll pop up a photo there. The new kit is completely revised. The old kit we had for four years and it was a really, really nice kit, but I thought it was about time that we kind of change it around, mix it up a little bit. So this is what the new kit's gonna look like. I personally really like it. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Um, obviously we're going with the black bibs. The reason for the change of the black bibs is that Champion System make two different bibs and we've always been on the second tier bib and to get to that first tier bib it's got like an extra set of, set of like stitch lines down the middle and they look really really weird with the red and the white so we've gone to the black shorts to kind of like modernise the kit a little bit but yeah let me know in the comments what you think about that and then we also have new Windspace bikes coming as well which are a little sneak peek look like this so very very exciting to see what that's going to look like and then obviously a whole load of new um, loon wheels and stuff so Real excited to build my new bike when that gets here, hopefully in about a month, month and a half, and we'll do a video on that as well. But yeah, we are exactly um, 86 days away from um, the start of the Tour of Southland, so basically 13 weeks, I think. So um, usually you take like, a good 10 week period, but I'm just gonna start getting back into training. I've done five hours already this week, so I'm going out for two hours, two and a half hours endurance today um, on the road bike, so join me for that. I also finally got Toby's frame back from um, last year's team and as you might have known he was riding this at the gravel and tire classic when him and um, Ari both crashed and look at the crack in this thing this is a decent crack there's a big one right there and then if you go into the top tube there's a massive one there so yeah unfortunately that's all part of racing that's the type of things that happens when you run a team and you've got like nine of these bikes some of them are going to end up getting damaged and this is one of those if you've got any ideas what we should do with it i'm not sure it's worth replacing like you can pay a couple hundred bucks to get it fixed but then it's probably not worth what it's going to be in the replacement value so we can make a little bit of art out of it um so yeah let me know in the comments what we can do with this also, FE Sports um, have sent me some of these Pirelli Zero tyres to try. I have never ever ridden a Pirelli. I've ridden pretty much every single tyre that you can possibly ride. And I mean I've ridden every single tyre. Look at the serious tyre collection I have here from like wholesalers sending me tyres to try. I've tried a lot of tyres and a lot of wheels. Never once have I tried a Pirelli. So we've got the P0 um, race. These are in tubeless and a 30 millimeter for the winter as well. So yeah, this is going to be my first ride on them. I've got two hours today, three hours tomorrow, so I'll let you guys know what they're like. But if you'd like an actual video review on all the modern tires, I've pretty much tried all the new Contis, all the new Vittorias, and now the Pirellis. I can put that all into one video and then have a little bit of review of what I think's the best value for money and what the best race tire is. So let me know in the comments if you've been keen for that. But yeah, let's go try these dogs out.
a wee bit unexpected. I'm on the iPhone because uh, I don't have a camera with me, but we finally have the shipping containers off the front of the property. So, so this is what the front of the building looks like. Absolutely massive concrete slab here. And the doors are open so we can actually go have a look. So as you can see, I'm gonna be putting the um, logos of all the bikes and all the um, brands all along there, but still gonna keep these big windows. They are tinted a little bit. And you come in the front door, and this is the absolutely ginormous space that we're gonna have for the new shop. Absolutely huge. So the cafe, is going here the service area is kind of like all here at the back and then all the bikes and all the bike shop stuff are all kind of over in this area so all they've got left to do until we take over the lease next week is put all this hvac up so as you can see they've already kind of started and then they're going to connect all of that and then pretty much once that's all done it's all on us and we have a lot of work to do in about a month and a half before we open so yeah, a little bit of a rundown. You walk through the front door and then there's gonna be Josh's desk there or the service desk there. And then the little booth seating here, looking out the window, which is gonna be really cool. And then it's gonna have like some nice bikes. My GT40 will sit in that window, which is awesome. And then you kind of come around this side and we're gonna have a big, big bike display over in this window with kind of like the hero bikes, the really nice bikes sitting up here also in the window. And then we have like that 16 um, rack for the uh, hardtail mountain bikes. They kind of kind of sit here. The Zwift and the bike fit area are going to be all in here, Wahoo trainers and stuff. Oopsies. And then in this window, this is obviously the road front window. All of our e-bikes and stuff will be here. And then this ginormous wall, I'm thinking I'm going to use this for all of the accessories, the helmets and everything kind of on this wall to try to utilize that well. Probably have another row of bikes down here. All the kids' bikes are going to be here and a few higher bikes. And then the big change for us is we're putting the workshop at the back. So previously you walked into our shop, the service area and the um, like where you buy stuff has all been at the same area. But for this shop, we kind of like break it up a little bit. So if you come in here for a service, you come to the back here. And if you want to buy something, you go to the front there. So the service area come out from this wall here, out and then on an angle around to here. And then there'll be a little um, gap here where you can get the bikes through. And then a wall will come out through here. And the second um, stand will be there right by the roller door where bikes will be able to come in and out, which is so, so cool. And then obviously the biggest change, this whole wall, we're gonna be painting black. All of like the cool memorabilia and all of our cool jerseys and frames are gonna go up here. And then as you can see, there's already like a little kitchenette here, which is all plumbed up. So that is gonna be, we're gonna bring the wall out to here. Cafe will be there, kind of like comes out like that. And then we'll have the bar lena here. This whole wall will be black with just cool stuff on it. And then the massive TV, I think it's our 82 inch TV will sit there on that wall. So you'll be able to watch cycling and come in there and it'll be a really nice place to come down and sit and have a coffee um, while you're riding or after a ride or something. But yeah, look how big this wall is, absolutely ginormous. But yeah, super, super exciting, such a cool space. I really like the drop down ceiling. This ceiling is obviously massive, kind of drops down to more like that five meter. And we're gonna get some really cool retro bikes to kind of hang over there once that's all like covered up. And obviously everyone's very interested in what the toilet looks like. So, oh yeah, it got lights. So this is this is the toilet. Hopefully it hasn't been used yet. Oh no, it has. But yeah, all plumbed up. Pretty much everything is ready to go. But yeah, that's this week's update. That's kind of where we're at. Hopefully we will have keys on the 14th of August. We were meant to get the keys on the 1st of August, but obviously all of this stuff isn't in yet. Um, the next video, we will be installing our sign on that big pile on there. So that's going to be very, very exciting. But yeah, if you did enjoy this video and you want to keep up to date with what's going to be happening at the new Cycling Tom Mega Bike Shop, um, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you are new.